Well, hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Let's have a little bit of a moment's silence because this is the last time, fingers crossed, uh, you will see this kitchen in my videos. I filmed so many videos um, that I probably won't have to uh, do any filming that week whilst it's being done, apart from maybe doing the uh, brick oven thing in the garden. Not sure if I even do that. Uh, I might just do some other stuff like my website's being updated and things like that. But I think we've done quite well. I've specifically avoided cake since I've been in here because that oven, as fun as it's been using it, da -da -da -da. It bakes cakes horrendously. Like if I wanted to go for like a leading tower of pizza cake, a pizza cake? A pizza cake. <laughs> I've done that before. It was a really cool video recipe quite a few years back. Check it out. Check out the archives, folks. Over 1,200 or 300 videos I've done. How many times have I said, hey, what? I'm going for a rant, sorry. Leading Tower of Pisa. That's, they, they, it's terrible. Getting the same oven that we used to have in our old house, same hob, same sink. Uh, very cool stuff to show you, so I'm very excited for that. But we've done well, we've survived. It's been very weird for me being left-handed and the screen comes out from there. So when I try and see things, I couldn't actually see from there. So it's gonna help me because the thing's gonna tee off from there. So let's, let's take a moment to appreciate it. There you go. If you're American, possibly, you might be confused by the title of this video. I might be wrong, you might know what these are, but I think Canada, Australia, and especially the UK uh, know what wagon wheels are. And if you've clicked this video accidentally expecting a tutorial on how to build a wheel for your wagon, uh, for your horse cart thing, you come to the wrong video, I'm afraid. Basically, a wagon wheel was a real retro treat for me as a kid when I was growing up. Uh, they basically are a chocolate with biscuit and marshmallow wedge, and then they also brought out a jammy version. Of course, we can make one from scratch, but I've got a little bit of an idea how we can kind of hack it uh, in a microwave. So effectively, we're making like a biscuit sandwich with marshmallow chocolate coated. So as always, head over to the website for the full method and an epic write-up that I do with my personal opinion that I might not mention fully in this video. Type in like that, which is gonna be updated very, very soon. I'm very excited for that. Finally! But I think we should jolly well get going. We've got some milk chocolate here, which I'm gonna melt in the microwave, but we'll do that last. We've got some raspberry jam, so I can do a couple of jammy versions. We've got a pack of marshmallows. These are actually white and pink, but when you melt them, I don't really mind what the difference is gonna be. That's why it's homemade. You put your own twist on it, right? If they were green, I'd be a little bit annoyed about that, but they're fine. Oh, it's worth noting that you could actually use marshmallow fluff for this, but by melting the marshmallows and then letting them set again, they'll kind of firm up more, whereas marshmallow fluff is more you know? The other thing with wagon wheels is the biscuit is kind of like a little bit oaty in a way. It's not like a hard snappy biscuit. So I've got some oat biscuits ready made and they will be a perfect template for us. It's gonna save us a lot of time. By all means, make your own oat biscuits if you want. But let's have some fun and save time. Use the microwave. Well, I didn't rip that amazingly, but that'll do. So I'm just gonna use this baking parchment as kind of like a prep area. For like Dr. Evil then. We shall call it the prep area. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Let's, let's not worry about that, that's fine. I, I don't need this many, so we're just gonna get a few and the rest can go in the biscuit tin. So there we go, I've lined out my OT biscuits, so they're gonna give us the perfect template uh, for them. They're flat side up, okay? And you stack one on top, you can start to see already what it's gonna look like. So what I'm gonna do, this is actually a pink marshmallow, but you can't uh, see it too well, it's hiding quite well. I'm just snipping uh, a marshmallow into kind of like thirds because we want it to melt but kind of spread evenly. So I'm just going to do this to a couple of these for now. Yeah, you get the idea. I've just put you over there because that's like one of those uh, perspective shots. It's quite cinematic, you know? So I'm gonna put one on a plate just for now, just so I can see how long it's gonna take for it. Just to, you want it to expand, and I'm gonna have a knife on hand just to sort of spread it, or if it explodes, just control it a little bit, okay? Spoiler, it shouldn't take long. Well, hey, look, that already. But as you can see, it needs to be guided a little bit. Make sure it's even. It's almost like frosting a little cake. And that will do. So if I just take that off the plate, the cool thing is you can cut away any excess to get it nice and flush in a minute. But I'm just gonna microwave another one. Sat that one back on the tray. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, what happened to Kevin? Well, Kevin got himself a suntan. That was 10 seconds, as you can see from there, or about 12 seconds, it was on 18. It just suddenly goes Burr. There it goes, look, that's it. That's all you need. 
One thing I would say is to let it stand for about a minute before lifting it off because that way, if you've got like a little bit of excess there, that will just cut away cleanly, okay? Now just to show you for a standard wagon wheel, all I'm gonna do is take those two pieces and just wedge them together like that. Literally just like that. And we can just smooth it out if we want, but I quite like, you know, this sort of bump like that. And that will seal together. Now with a jam one, whilst you've melted the marshmallow, just a little spoon of jam in the middle, spreading it around with your spoon. Don't take it all the way to the edge because some of the mallow will spill out. As you can see from the other one, we just got to trim it. That's all it is. And then just sit. Oh yeah. That one on top. Beautiful. Yes. All right, conclusion. It is way easier to just put one marshmallow on a biscuit. My other ones are sliding off. I mean, it works. Like I say, you can cut around it, but it's more messy. This is just one marshmallow that I've sat on there, melted it again for 10 seconds and let it just kind of find its way. Look, the minute it starts to enlarge a little bit, just like that, let it stand, just encourage it round again and leave that for a good minute. So by doing one marshmallow like that, that looks way neater. And these surface areas are still nice and tacky. Yeah, you know, I can feel they firmed up, but there's still a little give in there. So I can take one and put my jam on there. And it's kind of now sort of sitting on the marshmallow, which is much better. Because when it was too hot before, it's got that tendency to spill out. Let me show you that actually. I need you to know this. Okay, make, learn from my mistakes. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. By all means, we can cover that in chocolate and tidy it up, but this is way neater. Just don't go too crazy on the jam, okay? Well, these seem to be joined together anyway, so we might as well stack that one on top. There we go. Oh, that's much better. So I'm just gonna let it kind of, I'm not gonna put too much weight on it. I'm just gonna let it sit and join naturally. And obviously for a, a standard one without the jam, we just stick it on top like that. A little press for that. Just to get out to the side. There you go, see that? That's better. Cheeky little preview of a gadget that I got sent the other day up there. Thirty second blasts. Stir it in between. So with the chocolate melted in the bowl, all we're going to do is actually just do um, what will be the bottom of it. So we're just going to give it a little layer of chocolate because when we drizzle it in a minute, uh, that is not going to cover the bottom, is it? So just to speed that up, once you've done your bottom, well, hey put this in the freezer. That'll help firm up the marshmallow fully and also set this and prevent you having to melt any more chocolate. And there we go then, folks. <laughs> That is the set wagon wheel. Now, hopefully you guys that have seen wagon wheels before go, yeah, that was pretty similar. We want to slice it up now. All right. Oh, I hope this has worked. Hey, wagon wheel. All right, that's going to be my thumbnail just before I slice into the other one. Oh, that is such a satisfying sound. Oh, this is a jammy one as well. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't know if my kitchen is getting excited or emotional or something like that, but the temperature has increased dramatically. It's just got hotter outside, which is making my chocolate melt a little bit. So I'll keep it in the fridge until it's properly uh, set or you're ready to eat it, okay? It'd be nice and cool, like, oof. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Rose ram. Oh, oh. I don't want to say that they taste better than wagon wheels, but that is so fresh. Oh. You could put like chocolate oaty biscuits in there as well, and like double chocolate ones, or you can get chocolate chip ones. Oh! So just a fun little project to try. 
goodbye to this kitchen. It's been, it's been fun. It's been short, but emotional. Remember to subscribe for regular videos and press the bell button to be notified of all new uploads. If you try any recipes, send me a picture at my virgin kitchen. Ch ching I love to see your attempts. It's awesome. And of course, follow us on social media for behind the scenes bits and bobs, including Instagram stories of this very epic video indeed. Let me know down below any recipes you want to see next. I want you guys to control exactly what you're going to see apart from I'm doing a roast dinner playlist very, very soon. Hopefully you're going to be excited for that. Bye kitchen.